Welcome, friends. Oh, this is embarrassing. So I was making this awesome bass build video, and uh, well, I'm sorry, the bass itself is working just perfectly awesome, but the video itself was getting longer and longer as I was building, rebuilding, fixing, testing on camera, of course, and rebuilding and rewiring everything. So the video with the horde night and everything was getting, it was, I think, something like 46 minutes. And I thought, no, 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 that's way too long just for one episode. So what well, this is going to be, this is going to be the fighting part of it. And I'm going to do a very short uh, introduction, as you see, of me building it. But it's going to focus on how it actually works and why it works and sort of the things around that when you're fighting the zombies now if you are interested in how it's actually built i will be posting that video as well the full 45 46 minute video in a couple of hours as well so if you're watching this one later on, obviously it's going to be on my channel anyway, the video after this one. And um, hopefully you enjoyed that one as well. It's going to go into excruciating detail of how I constructed the base. The good thing is that the base works really, really well. It's probably one of the most effective bases I've built so far, at least in Alpha 19 and probably in Alpha 18 as well, for the amount of space that it actually takes. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Make sure you leave that subscribe and smash that like. And uh, well... So we're going to go into a Blood Moon Horde. And the Blood Moon Horde has begun. I think. Yep, there they're coming. The game stage is uh, fairly high. Let me see. 165. So it's not super high, but it's fairly high. And you see they are running away. What the... Alright, you can see the AI is having some issues. Okay, that was the most peculiar thing I've seen in Alpha 19. I actually ran over there and some of them then came back. And some of them just vanished. Maybe it was the Wandering Hole that happened to get triggered. So, uh, this is why you want to have the, uh, the the bars there. You see one made it through. Crawlers and spiders do pose a little bit of an issue because they're so small. The electric fences usually do take care of them. I see most of them get hit here. Get uh, taken out by the dart traps and they slowly make their way through. They're slowed by the electric fence and they are slowed by the water as well. So they uh, have a lot of times they can take damage here. And uh, let's see, walk up here. See, once in a while one gets through, runs down there and then gets hit by all these dart traps that are coming. And see the cop is getting is getting hit by the oh that's nice the cop is also getting hit by the blade trap now I do remember that the blade traps will degrade over the night so they might not last the whole night which is okay they generally don't uh, hit anything except the cops maybe whites and the demolishers and those are all really the ones that they want to be focusing on but you want to avoid cops getting all the way here because they could be vomiting at you and of course, the uh, demolishes whites, you know, they're, they're just there. If you're lucky, they be get beheaded as well. And you notice again, it's the spiders that make it up because they're so small, so they go under some of these traps. And let's see another... Another cop is taken out. Oh, that's interesting. The spider actually got up there. Interesting. I don't think he can get down, but... What the... Okay, so the spider has totally glitched through. That was... Really weird. It can't get out. Oh, and he still died. That's fine then. So while you're here, uh, you can repair these ones. Not that they take a lot of damage. And you can just... Uh, well, you can loot if there's something nice coming out. Oh, that's nice. And here... You notice most of them don't actually survive up here because they're taking so much damage on the other side. And that's really what you want. And this is... Okay, let me... Let me do that again. Having an auto shotgun here to take care of these ones is perfect. Ooh, there we go. Hardly anyone makes it up. Oh, there was the demolisher. Was that? 
Where's the demolisher? Oh, he died already. I think he died already. Uh, can I throw in a demolisher? I should be able to spawn in a demolisher. So let me do that. Uh, let's see. Just so we can see what happens when you do a demolisher. <gasps> okay. All right, that's a little bit too much, I suspect. Uh, one. All right, run in there. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, he's, oh, now he's triggering it. And you see, he's still alive. But he's taking damage, obviously. And you see, taking more damage. And then even more. So he's lost half the hit points by the time he even gets up here. And see if he gets any attack in no attack in and you see that's what you want to do if you made this path longer you could make the demolisher take even more damage the problem is that the longer you make the path and i could probably make it another tree uh, but the longer you make the path the more problems you have with the pathing where the zombies might go like nah i don't want to run that far i'm just going to bash something else or try to bash through here or bash the supports so that's something you sort of have to take into account as well. This one is still fairly long. It's like another 7 up here plus another 10. So that's almost hitting almost almost 15, 20. And see, it took even more damage this time. And so wasted. And if you notice, I have not been in any danger the whole time. Even from the one that glitched through. And is that it? Nope. Now there, a new wave is coming. Uh, from that side. Oh. Interesting that all these ones are out here. Oh, okay. That's obviously from the demolishers that I... Never mind. <laughs> it's from the demolishers that I killed. So forget about them. There's going to be a lot of loot here that is going to occur during the whole Blood Moon Horde. Uh, there is no specific way to loot them just yet. I'm going to have to look to the future to see if I can actually uh, change that to give a, get a way to loot. But at least the ones in the front... You see, the demolisher, he just melts away. It's another demolisher. No issue whatsoever. Like you can see, there's going to be... Can I see... Oh, this one hasn't taken damage. This one I've taken... Seems to be less damage, actually, in Alpha 19. But since they're only targeting some of the zombies, the tall ones, they don't really take that much anyway. So you're going to be really safe. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be about it. This is... Uh, as you can see, there's a fair bit of radiated. It's 24 concurrent, so there's always going to be zombies here. And uh, yeah, as long as the dart traps have their darts and uh, the electric fences are not totally degraded. You see some of them are getting a little bit degraded. These ones a little bit. And the one in the front, especially the first one. Let me see it do that. Come on. Fight. You too. I should be able to. Okay, I don't have. Okay, let's let's pretend I had the iron, and then I need the parts, 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 parts. Of course, I had these ones. This is you know. And there we go. All repaired. Open up. Open up. Repair. These are the ones that take the most degradation. You notice the first one, most second one, a little bit. And then this one. The one thing you want to remember is don't make sure you don't hit his C4 because you don't want to explode him. It's oh, that's actually a pretty good find. How often do you actually find a, an auto shotgun? So that was pretty nice. Let's get some more loot. So it's pretty nice to actually get the demolishers come in here because demolishers have a lot of uh, loot comparably. The other ones have less. Now, I haven't given you a particular way to actually look to see what's happening. I was thinking about actually opening that up with a window, bulletproof glass, and allowing it to sort of go around here to look. I just haven't done that yet. Uh, still thinking about whether I want to do that, because that would allow you to actually look through to see what's here. And come on. Oh, you're dead. Oh, little demolisher. Doesn't get to do any damage at all. You see, look at these ones. This one taking a little bit of damage. No damage, no damage, and a uh, little bit of damage. I think that was the climbing. You. These ones are really aggressive, actually, in Alpha 19. They look nice, though. And, 
yeah, you'll probably get kind of bored to stand behind here the whole night. So this is the best hold base ever, or rather the messiest hold base ever. And I'm going to look at this uh, probably next week again, and I'll walk through again just quickly how I wire things up in case it wasn't clear. And I'll look at some of the improvements that I was thinking about, how to make this one even better. But as you can see, even just like this, the concept is solid. With the water pad that slows them down, you have darts, you have electric fences, and you have the blade traps in the head level of the demolishers and cops and whites. And even with just this little amount of dart traps and electric fences, most of them die here. Very few make it up, and the ones that make it up here have now here triple, which means there's 12 dart traps that will be firing at them. And uh, yeah, I don't think hardly any actually makes it up, except maybe the spider zombies. So hope you enjoyed this little video, even though it's very long, I do apologize. But if you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel and look for the next video. And of course, let me know in the comment section below what else I should be doing here. Did you spot any change that you think would be really worthwhile? If so, let me know. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, Demolisher. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.